Cut is the most complex factor to understand before buying a diamond, but don't worry, because by the time you finish watching this video, you'll know exactly what to look for. Let's dive in. Some might assume that cut grade refers to the diamond shape. This is wrong. Cut grade actually refers to the dimensions, angles of the diamond and assesses how well proportioned the diamond is and how well it interacts with light. Most of the diamond industry follows a cut scaling system that was created by the GIA, which rates the diamonds cut with the following grades from best to worst. Excellent or ideal cut, very good, good, fair and poor. To make it simple, an ideal cut diamond is more brightness, fire and scintillation compared to a lower cut graded diamond. There are three main factors that impact the diamond's cut quality. Proportions, the ratios and sizes of a diamond's depth, width and table, taking into account the angles and the girdle thickness of a diamond. Symmetry, the precision of a finished diamond's shape and facet placement and polish, the overall degree of smoothness of each facet of a diamond and how it affects the shining glow. The main factor that influences the diamond's brilliance and how it interacts with light is the cut proportions. When we look at a diamond ring, most of the time we view the diamond from the top. Ideal proportions reflect light directly into our eyes through the diamond's table, which is exactly what we want. Lower cut grades have too deep or too shallow proportions. Those proportions move the light into wrong directions, so it exits through the side or bottom of the diamond and loses the brilliance, fire and shine. When most diamond experts will give you specific ratios and measurements to look for, I'm telling you, for round-shaped diamonds, save your time, don't compromise and look for the triple X. Ideal cut, excellent polish and excellent symmetry, and most importantly, see the diamond for yourself and make sure it looks beautiful. By using James Allen 360 AG videos and the super zoom feature, you'll see the total appearance of the diamond and decide if you like it or not. If it looks beautiful on the 360 HD video and the super zoom, it will look beautiful on a ring. If you want to take it into the next level and narrow down your options to the best ideal diamonds, go to the advanced options and type in the next measurements. Depth 59 to 63 and table 54 to 60. Unlike round diamonds, for fancy shaped diamonds, there is not such a thing as right or wrong ratios, and it's more a matter of taste. For example, some might like a longer pier while some prefer a shorter one. It also depends on the jewelry. A fancy shape with a specific length and width ratio can be beautiful on a necklace, while a different ratio looks better on a ring. For a necklace, a longer pier will look nicer, while for a ring, it will be more practical to mount a shorter one. For this reason, the leading labs GIA, AGS and IGI don't grade cut for fancy shaped diamonds. In case you are looking for a fancy shape, I recommend looking for symmetry and polish, which are graded as very good or excellent. Again, most importantly, make sure the diamond looks great using the super zoom feature. It is important to understand that it costs more to polish a better cut diamond. For once, we need a more skilled polisher who naturally deserves and gets higher pay. The second and more significant reason is that when polishing a diamond to ideal measurements, angles and proportions, you end up with a smaller diamond. For example, if we polished a rough diamond to one carat, which is too deep or too shallow, and we wanted to turn it into an ideal cut, its weight will decrease to only 0.9 carat or even less than that. If you compromise on the cut and buy such a one carat, you should pay no more than the price of the 0.9 ideal cut. A different way to look at it is that for a one carat ideal cut diamond, we would have needed to begin with a larger rough diamond, which costs much more. It is true, there are many beautiful diamonds out there, but not every diamond is a masterpiece. If you want to get the best of the best, look for Arts and Arrows diamonds. Those diamonds are a tiny subgroup, less than 1% of the excellent cut diamonds. As the name implies, the Arts and Arrows is a visual effect that appears due to extremely precise symmetry and specific proportions. As a result, those diamonds display 8 perfectly symmetrical arrows from the top view and 8 full arts from the bottom view. Those unique characteristics are very hard to achieve even for the most skilled diamond cutter in the diamond industry. In some cultures, the eight arts and eight arrows represent a symbol of infinite love, the kind that never ends. 
If you want to express this emotion, it is best that you inspect the diamond and see if it has the perfect 8 arts and errors. But how can you know that a diamond is part of this 1% arts and errors subgroup? There is a unique technology that generates red and white ideal scope images to show a clear image of the arts and errors effect. Some stores might claim they sell arts and errors diamonds, you should ask them to show you the images of a specific diamond you are interested in, so you can verify that they are actually arts and errors diamonds. James Helen has Art and Errors run diamonds as part of their premium throughout brand. They display the ideal scope images on the diamonds item page. The throughout brand includes also princess and cushion shapes which are graded as ideal by the AGS lab for all attributes, cut, polish, symmetry and most importantly, light performance. In conclusion, I recommend to never compromise on a diamond cut and aim for ideal cut. Above all, this factor has the most influence over the brilliance of the stone which adds the wow factor. If I needed to purchase one carat diamond with a limited budget, I would first compromise on clarity and color. If you need more tips on how to buy the right diamond for your budget, watch my other video, the 6 step system for buying a diamond, where I give you free tips in order to save some money and get more bang for your buck. All diamonds on this video are from the same vendor which I found is the most competitive and has the best diamond preview technology. You can click on the link below to see their full diamond gallery offering around 300,000 different diamonds, natural and lamb grown for any budget. This vendor is the only one who has the super zoom feature which is the same feature we use to inspect each diamond on this video. They have a 30 day return policy, no question asked, so you can order the diamond, see it in person and decide if you want to keep it or not. In any case, I'm on your side. If you need any help picking the best diamond within your budget, contact me and I'll do the hard work for you for free. Tell me your budget and I'll do the research. Remember, each diamond is unique and the best are selling fast. If you like a diamond, contact customer service and ask to put it on hold for you until you make your final decision. If you want to learn more about diamonds, go to labdiamondsreview.com.